and making a commercial? Yeah. Hello and welcome. Today's video is sponsored by Mitsubishi. It's garbage. Yeah. My fault. I was distracted. Should have talked to him. So to brief everybody on uh, our current situation, there was a miscommunication. This road is very sandy. The car we're driving completely sucks. It's a Mitsubishi garbage, garbage vehicle. I drive a lot of rental cars. These I've never enjoyed at all. No four wheel drive or anything like that, of course. That'd be ridiculous on an SUV. So we're probably just gonna leave it here. Tell the rental car company we left it here. So, yeah. Okay, so we're out here at another Quality Enterprises job. We got our vehicle stuck, we got it unstuck. We finally got out here where we're supposed to be. So this is part of the wetlands restoration uh, project with the Army Corps of Engineers. This is a massive job with many contractors uh, spanning hundreds and thousands of, of acres and miles around here, nice and dusty. going to happen is they they basically dam things up so they stop the water from flowing into some of these areas for farming back in the day the Army Corps is going to release a lot of the a lot of the water that's been dammed up for decades back into this area to restore the natural wetlands so they're trying to restore all of this area back to how it was before humans started to mess with it when it came to agriculture and all that um, there are farms right here that are active so to protect the farms when they flood over there, they're building a levee. So Quality Enterprises is installing about seven miles of levee, uh, starting from here and going seven miles that way. Uh, they've been working for about a year. They had to do the clearing very methodically for the sake of the environment. And now they're digging a lot of that existing material out before they start to place and build the levee. So that's what's going on. We might get lucky and get lunch. Okay, less than 30 minutes ago, we were looking at alligators in the Everglades. Now we're in somebody's backyard uh, at the water. We're hoping we're gonna get picked up here. We're not totally sure yet, but they're dredging back behind these houses and we're gonna try to see it real quick. My flight leaves in about two hours, so not a ton of time, but we're gonna give it a shot. So stay tuned to find out if we actually see any dredging, because I don't know. Uh, okay, so we just checked that out real quick. Like I said, we have to go to the airport, so it wasn't too long of a visit, but then again, it wasn't too much action, one machine. They have a Epiroc cutter on there. So they've already gone through and dredged out the, the easy stuff, the mud or muck or whatever's on the bottom there. 
Uh, all these houses back up to these canals in Florida, and most of these people, if not every one of these people, has a boat that they uh, have a dock on the back of their house where they, they keep the boat. They want to get bigger boats back here. To get bigger boats, you need deeper canals. Since there's just rock left, they have to bring in quality enterprises. Uh, it was a 323 or maybe a 320 excavator with that Epper Rock cutter on there uh, running Trimble GPS. So he'll sit there and he can't see the bottom, but he has GPS so he can see what elevation he's at. And he just cuts, 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 works his way down the canal. And then they have a long reach that comes through, takes the cuttings, throws it into a hopper, and it's all hauled off. On just this one little canal, they're taking out 700 yards of material, which doesn't sound like a lot to a typical earth moving contractor, but Considering it's rock off the bottom of some ocean, it's a little bit trickier and pretty time consuming. So this is the second canal. They have a few of them to clear and then they'll be, uh, they'll be out of here and off to the next one. So I guess with that, we are going to hit the airport, get home. Fortunately, Jake is stuck in Florida for another night because of the good old ice storms. Uh, but I'm going to Charlotte, Nashville. It's supposed to be about 30 degrees in Nashville. Right now it's like, shoot dude. It's like 82 degrees. I'm, I'm, I'm a little hot. I'm a little sweaty. So time to go uh, trick my body again and go back to the cold. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Stay dirty, everybody. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button.